Hello guys and welcome to Medieval Conquests, a mod for Mountain Blade Banner, not Bannerlord, <laughs> what am I talking about? Mountain Blade Warband, Bannerlord isn't out yet. So um, today uh, it was announced that Bannerlord will be uh, playable at E3, so it really got me in a, a kind of like a hypey mood and wanted to play some play some Warband and get, get, my, uh, get my, my Mountain Blade juices flowing. Uh, so I came across this mod uh, on YouTube, and uh, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna try and start a new game in it. So yeah, as I said, I'm I'm really really hyped for Bannerlord. I think it looks amazing, and yeah, I'm definitely gonna be playing it on the channel. But I thought you know, let's see what my audience is for Warband. So you know, maybe we can kind of get a, a bit of a a bit of a gauge for. Uh, for how well it would go but regardless of whether it goes well or not whether whether you guys like this i'm, I'm still gonna be playing it so expect some uh battle mode content so yeah uh from what i've learned of this mod it's um instead of uh fighting in Calradia, you will be fighting in medieval europe so you can play as uh, somebody in england you can play somebody in scotland or uh, the Teutonic Order, or France, or well, all this kind of stuff. So, welcome, adventurer, to Medieval Conquests. This mod attempts to reflect the reality of 13th century Europe. You may host your own encounters. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, you can command your troops to crouch or stand if crouch mode is enabled. Okay, cool. Uh, alter the AI fighting abilities by pressing F5 during a battle. Mm, okay. Um, choose a recruiting type for your game. Choose wisely and you'll be able to change it after you start it. Uh... You know what, we're gonna go with the new Lance Recruitment System. It sounds pretty fun. I am a male. Uh, use title suffix or no. Yes, yes, of course. So, what do we want to be? Monarch, Prince, Vassal, Adventurer, or Bandit? That, that's a good question. Um, you know what, I may end up doing like two games of this and starting as a bandit or an adventurer. The, these are the two that really feel I want to try. Um, I think for the first one we're going to go adventurous or like the standard, um, standard warband kind of start. So what do we want to be? Impoverished noble, traveling merchant, veteran warrior, a hunter, a steppe nomad, or a thief, or a priest? Um, Let's see what the stats are. Two intelligence, that looks nice. Uh, inventory management, leadership, trade. Baron warrior, um, what are those? Riding two, pathfinding, hunter. I like hunter, hunter looks good. You know, we're, we're gonna go traveling merchant. And we're going to be a... One of these two, which one do we prefer? Inventory management. So it's intelligence and charisma or strength and intelligence. Charisma will get me more men. So what do we prefer? Engineer or inventory management? Inventory management. Uh and now we are going to be even more intelligent. Uh, a smith sounds sounds good and we're going to be going on this crusade because of forced out of our home I'm satisfied um, allow me to quit without saving because this is on YouTube so I need kind of to have a, a bit of leeway in that in case something crashes I mean it is a mod after all um, we're gonna get all these up to nine. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, reset. Nine. I said. There. And the spare point, I guess, we'll put into intelligence. So, we have ten points here. Uh, let's see. I like Iron Flesh. Um, what else do we want? Trainer is always a good one to have. Three points into trainer. Leadership's already good. Prisoner management is probably a good idea. Spotting pathfinding. Is it pathfinding that give you speed? Yes. 
go for a bit of pathfinding. There we go, okay. And I don't know what weapon types I'm gonna like. I usually do a two-handed weapon and archery. Um, I think one-handed weapon and a shield sounds like fun. So we're gonna go to 70 and archery to 49. Okay, done. And now what do we wanna look like? Just randomize until we get something that looks somewhat decent. I can't wait until we get the uh, the new system in Bannerlord. It looks way, way better. Come on, find me someone good. I want someone that looks good. Mm. If you had a different beard, you might look good. And... That looks alright, right? right? Yeah, that looks fine. Done. You hear about Europe, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling with each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power and glory in this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities. You believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventurers will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Europe and its kingdoms, you <laughs> join a merchant caravan. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's continue. Let's go. We're in Zeged. Is that in Croatia, I believe? No, Hungary. Croatia is like here. Alright. So, this is the map. We have an awful lot of Europe. That's a very strange spelling for oboe. Yeah, so, we have, if we hover over it, we'll be able to see, we have the Kingdom of Hungary here, this will be the Kingdom of Austria, no, just Holy Roman Empire. Um, Bohemia, yeah, Polish Principalities, we've got the Teutonic Order, who don't own Gdansk, that's interesting. Lithuania, we have the Samogotians. We have Teutonic Order again up here in uh, modern day uh, Estonia, Latvia. We have more Lithuania. We have the Golden Horde. We have Novgorod. We have the Golden Horde own Moscow. So there is no Muscovy, it seems. It certainly looks like what Northern, <laughs> Northern Russia looks like. Okay. Uh, we have Denmark here. Sweden, of course. France, is this? England own Bordeaux, interesting. I mean, yes, I know England own Bordeaux. Um, I thought they had a little bit more than that and maybe the Normandy, but I suppose this is, what, 1257? Uh, Navarra, yeah. We have Aragon, we have Castile and Portugal. We have Granada, the last bastion of Islam in Iberia. Kingdom of Sicily, Papal State, the what? The the Ghibellines, never heard of those before, the Guelphs, Republic of Pisa, Venice, Verona, Verona is also owned by you, Guelphs, oh, that's interesting, Republic of Genoa, alright, I think we've looked around enough, we've got the, oh, the Latin Empire, I want to talk to you guys, Byzantine Empire owns Thessalonica, Latin Empire owns Constantinople. That's interesting. The Eel Khanate. Then it'd be the Sultanate of Rum. This'd be the Mamluks. Yep. Alright, that looks kind of awesome. Uh, where are we again? We're in Zegev. Zeged. Cool. So, we start with literally nobody on our team. Inventory, we start with a crossbow. Ugh, I hate crossbows. Not good. Do not like crossbows. Uh, we start with a horse, that's nice. A tunic with cape and ragged leg boots, not good. We do start with 1350 dinars though. Be nice if they'd change that to like, um, ducats. <laughs> Everything is a ducat to me. Alright, the prosperous town is, of Zeged is bustling with activity. The people look well fed and relatively content. Good to know. Uh, let's go to the marketplace. Arms merchant. Alright. 
So, what are the prices for things? 762, I could actually afford some of these. Heavy bar dice, that's what I usually end up going with. But I think we won't do that this time, because, you know, variety is, is cool and all. I could grab myself a shield. I think a horseman's kite shield sounds like a pretty decent idea. Um, javelins, no. I would take a, a lance and find one. Bent light lance, nah. 348 for my tools, sure, I'll sell you those. You will receive money, yay, I like that. Armor merchant, these are quite expensive. So, if we want to go to where we can afford things, priest robe, sturdy Gaelic shirt. It's better than what we have. Tattered bishop Mitre, nice. All right, that's fine. We are we're okay for now. Right, so we want to maybe go to the oh, that, recruit volunteers. A mercenary company or a company of cumans. Let's take the cumans. All right, so now we have some cuman skirmishers, horsemen, horse archers, veteran horse archers, lancers, and heavy lancers. Fucking hell, we went cavalry heavy. Uh, how about we go and, like, raid the Turks? Vengeance for Varna. Vengeance for this little village right here. <laughs> I love it. Um, let's first go to Kronad. See if we can't find something to do here. Uh, there's no recruit option, so it seems like that might just be for, um, for big cities, maybe? Have you seen any enemies? Nope. Seems like your land is very prosperous then. Manor of Zaged. That just popped up out of nowhere. Have a walk around and see what we're looking at here. 16 population, prosperity 1. Very nice. A random manor in the middle of nowhere. I wonder, do, uh, do we get to talk to people here? Can we, like, recruit people? I don't know. Is there anything going on up here? Doesn't seem like there's much going on. Alright, cool. Well, maybe manners will, uh, will come into it at some point. Bulgarian Empire as well. So, let's find a crossing over the Danube. Ooh, looters, eh? You're running from me, I wonder why. Time to die, motherfuckers. Surrender or die. 28 troops versus their 23. That's the sound from Medieval 2 Total War. I have heard that many times before. Oh yeah. Charge. Okay, um... Sound volume... That's fine. Sound volume is really high. Oh yeah, we're playing with normal damage to player, normal damage to friends, average, average, combat speed, normal, you know, like, you know, this base, base stuff, you know. Okay, that was an awful shot. Out of my way, human man. Oh, you're friendly. You're not. He died. Yeah, good. Where's the last one? Probably over here. Run them all down. Kill them all. Good job, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Press tab to leave. Good. We lost no one. They lost everything. 
What in the fuck is this? Discard loot. Uh. Wish we have all items. Fuck it all. We got 75 dinars, 91 experience, shared 30, 340 experience with our guys. Very nice. Let's go and talk to the Kingdom of Serbia. See if we can't sell. Oh, wait, we can just go to Maglia. Nope, this is a castle. Never mind. Oh, we can take on some more looters. Surrender or die. Yes. Charge. God damn, that horn is loud as fuck. The ride of the Cuman Cavalry. Oh shit, uh, no I didn't hit anyone. Ah, uh, no, stop, stop crossing into my path. Will you die already? And my horse is dead. Yeah, I got fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I need to protect my horse a bit more. Well, that really is a shame about my uh my horse we have advanced a level let's uh let's see what we can do about this uh let's take mm. i'm thinking intelligence just so we can get the extra skill point and we'll put that into iron flesh and power strike up our one hand weapon stat perfect all right to maglia which is also a castle to Bershkeber, Berskovo. Okay, here we go. Right, arms merchant. Fifteen eight. That's that's definitely better than what I've got. Thick shoes. Nope. Twelve and five. Nope. This looks better. I wish it was better. Um, I suppose I can take a cap. All right, and then, what, there we go. Sell all of this shit. Keep the fish. Interesting that they only have 477. All right, I would like to get rid of this and this. It's shit, I don't like it at all. Do you have a lance? I would love a lance. Plus 32 damage, holy crap. Streli. Don't know what a streli is. Bent spear, military scythe. No lances. Alright, we've got 39 and 25 here. Wow, even. I mean, it is balanced, but. Kind of crazy that our weapon. Sell price. 1200 holy shit that's kind of insane um let's see what they have for armor we have 1100 dinars so maybe we can get something decent 21 oh yeah 21 and 10 is looking real nice Is that worth the extra five, uh, 300? I don't think so. Get the surgeon outfit. Yeah, we're looking spiffing. Ragged leather boots is better than what you have. Um, we could grab ourselves some gauntlets. Plus six or plus 20. Ooh, that is expensive. I'll take the skull cap. Alright, spent 950 dinars. We 
definitely need to actually go back. I want to set my food. No, I guess. Okay, just continue. All right, leave. Let's head on over to Turkey and put ourselves the correct way around, of course. Well, actually, we're going to take a small break here. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give me some feedback, what you're thinking. Um, is this something you want to see more of? Is uh, Am I really shit at the game and do you want to just rage at me for being terrible? For, le for letting my horse die. Yeah, that, that's why you should rage at me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.